Hey there healthy souls, I'm Dr. Priya Kaushik. Welcome to my channel. Your go-to destination for all things health and wellness. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Alright folks, let's talk about cancer and its pesky pals, the risk factors. Imagine, life is a party and the cancers that one guest who never brings snacks but always shows up uninvited. Classic, but don't sweat it. We have got a game plan. Think of your body as a fortress and those risk factors are like villains trying to crash the gates. Smoking, junk food, skipping workouts, they are all practically the wave flags shouting hey cancer over here. So let's get savvy, stay vigilant and give those troublemakers the boot before they even think about RSVPing. Here are the risk factors for each type of cancer. First, breast cancer. Gender. Being a female is itself is a risk factor and risk increases with age, especially after 50. And if you have a family history that is close relative suffered from breast cancer, you might be at a risk. Long term use of hormones in the form of hormone replacement therapy increases the risk. Obesity, alcohol consumption, lack of physical activity, all other risk factors. Next, cervical cancer. Human papilloma virus that is HPV, particularly the high risk types like HPV 16 and 18. And if you have a weakened immune system that is suffering from HIV or AIDS, or if you are on immune suppressive drugs for cancer, all increases the risk. Smoking, early sexual activity are also the risk factors for cervical cancer. Next, colorectal cancer. Risk increases with age, especially after 50. And also, if you have a family history that is close relatives with colorectal cancer or polyps, you might be at a high risk. Personal history, that is, if you have a previous colorectal cancer, polyps or inflammatory bowel disease like ulcerative conitus or Crohn's disease, risk increases. Diet, if you are on a high red meat diet or processed meat or less intake of fruits and vegetables, might be at a risk. Lack of physical activity? Nah. Fourth, lung cancer. Smoking is the leading cause of lung cancer, including the secondhand smoke exposure, which means if you're standing next to a person who is smoking, you will also inhale that smoke. So that is also a risk factor. Next, radon gas exposure, either in home or at workplaces. Asbestos exposure also increases the risk. Family history. Having a close relative with lung cancer might also increase the risk. Personal history. If you have a previous lung disease such as COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, that also increases your risk. Now, let's decode these cancer screenings and make this journey as smooth as possible. Welcome to the roaring 20s and thriving 30s. It's the age of self-disclosure, selfies and self-exams. Ladies, give our girls a high five every three years with clinical breast examination with your gynecologist and a frequent self-assessment. And don't forget the cervix check at 21. It's like a birthday present you never knew needed. Pap test every three years. Primary HPV test every five years. Co-test which includes HPV and pap test every five years. And fellas, keep those pearly whites and skin under check because even a superhero needs a dental checkup. So go for a dental checkup every six months. And remember, SPF is your new BFF. Ah, the 40 and the fearless face where fine wine meet the fine wrinkles. Ladies, it's time for the mammogram with the mammogram. Strike a pose, say cheese every year and let's keep those girls in check and don't forget the cervix check. And fellas, brace yourselves for the colon carnival at the age of 45 because what's more fun than a colonoscopy? A root canal? Yeah, maybe not. And important thing to guys at 45 is that if you are a high risk individual for prostate cancer that is if you have a family history of prostate cancer make sure you get those psa that is prostate specific antigen test and dre digital rectal examination test done welcome to the 50s and fabulous club it's a triple threat breast cervical and colorectal cancer screenings who said multitasking wasn't glamorous and for our smoking buddies Let's catch those lung troubles early with a low dose CT scan that is LDCT. Think of it as a smoke signal screen. 
Ah, the golden years where we are screening everything from A to Z, from blood to breast, colon to lungs and even check up for those pearly whites because at this age, prevention is the ultimate retirement plan. Remember, aging gracefully means adapting your screenings, not ignoring them. Knowing when to pump the brakes on screening test is equally important for maintaining good health while avoiding unnecessary procedures. Here are some general guidelines. Breast and cervical screening Consider slowing down around your mid-70s for breast checks and mid-60s for cervical cancer screenings if your previous tests have been normal. Colorectal cancer screening ease off by your mid-80s unless your doctor advises otherwise. Prostate cancer screening Consider stopping in your 80s if you have a clean bill of health. Lung cancer screening Around your early 80s unless you are a former smoker who recently quit. However, it's essential to discuss these decisions with your healthcare provider as individual factors and medical history can influence the need for continued screening. Regular screenings and early detection are the ultimate game changers in the fight against cancer. Let's embrace life with laughter, learning and staying on top of our health checks. Together with positive look, we can conquer anything. Stay healthy, stay happy and always find a reason to smile. Keep shining bright.